the 12th of August 2022. Top 5 Evening Headlines ISTRO launches 3D Virtual Space Park or Spark or Union Home Minister's Medal for Excellence in Investigation Awarded ISRO successfully completes Gaganyan or SLEM test. World Elephant Day, the 12th of August. First Hello India Women or S Hockey League U16 to be held from the 16th of August. ISRO launches 3D Virtual Space Park, Spark. The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, has launched a 3D Virtual Space Tech Park called Spark. The platform hosts several documents, images, and videos related to ISRO launch vehicles, satellites, and scientific missions. Spark can be accessed through the official website of ISRO or at https colon slash slash spacepark.isro.gov.in. Spark also features the Space on Wheels initiative taken by ISRO. Union Home Minister's Medal for Excellence in Investigation Awarded the or Eld Quo, Union Home Minister's Medal for Excellence in Investigation or RTQO, for the year 2022 have been awarded to 151 police personnel. Among the personnel, 15 are from CBI, 11 are from Maharashtra Police, 10 each are from MP and UP Police, 8 each are from Kerala Police, Rajasthan Police and West Bengal Police. These awardees also include 28 women police officers. ISRO successfully completes Gaganyaan's LEM test. Gaganyaan or S Low Altitude Escape Motor LEM of Crew Escape System was successfully test fired from Sriharikota Spaceport in August 2022. The system takes away the crew module of Gaganyaan mission in case of any eventuality and rescues the astronauts. The main objectives of the static tests are to evaluate motor ballistic parameters. Validate Motor Subsystem Performance, etc. World Elephant Day, the 12th of August. World Elephant Day is observed on August 12th every year. The day was first observed on August 12, 2012. World Elephant Day was co-founded by Canadian filmmaker Patricia Sims and the Elephant Reintroduction Foundation of Thailand, an initiative of Hum Queen Sirikit. Since 2012, the day is marked with an aim to reach out to people and educate them on the plight of elephants. First Hello India Women's Hockey League U16 to be held from the 16th of August. First Hello India Women or S Hockey League under 16 will be held at the Major Dhyanchan Stadium in New Delhi from the 16th to the 23rd of August 2022. A total of 16 teams from across the country are participating. 56 matches will be played and over 300 players will compete in Phase 1 of the league. The Sports Authority of India has allocated 53.72 lakh rupees for three phases, which includes prize money of 15.5 lakh rupees. Mao signed between NHIDCL and NSDC. And Mao was signed between NHIDCL, National Highways Infrastructure Development Corporation Limited, and NSDC, National Skill Development Corporation. The purpose of this Mao is to take up multiple initiatives contributing towards making India the skill capital of the world. Both NHIDCL and NSDC are headquartered in New Delhi. National Conference of Rural Cooperative Banks inaugurated. Union Home and Cooperation Minister Amit Shah inaugurated the National Conference of Rural Cooperative Banks in New Delhi on 12 August 2022. It was organized by the Ministry of Cooperation and the National Federation of State Cooperative Banks NAFSCOB. Amit Shah also presented performance awards to State Cooperative Banks and District Central Cooperative Banks DCCBS. Taxpayers won't be eligible for Atal Pension Scheme. Income taxpayers will not be allowed to enroll in the government or S Pension Security Scheme Atal Pension Yojana APY, from October 1st, a statement by Finance Ministry said. Income taxpayer enrolled before October 1st will continue in the scheme. Earlier this month, Minister of State for Finance Bhagwat Karad said that till July 21st around 4.31 crore subscribers had enrolled under APY. Amit Berman steps down as chairman of Dabur India. 
chairman of Dabur India Ltd, Amit Burman has resigned from his post. Mohit Burman has been elevated to the position of non-executive chairman of the board of directors of Dabur India Limited with effect from August 11 for a period of five years. Know about Supreme Court The Federal Court of India was created as per the Government of India Act 1935. It converted into Supreme Court in 1950. Justice Harilal J. Kisundas Kaniya was the first Indian Chief Justice of India. Supreme Court Composition Including the CJI, there are 34 judges in the Supreme Court. First female judge, Fatima Bivi. Current CJI, N. Dwee, Ramana 48th.